Hi, I'm Marty McGay, and I'm a Democrat running for mayor of the city of Houston. I'm glad to be back here again. This is my second time at uh, Meyerland Democrats, so I'm uh, very glad to, to be here. It's always hard to follow up on my friend Chris Bell, he's, he's the funniest guy in this race. So, uh, I will um, correct my, my other friend, uh, Sylvester Turner, said that uh, uh, Chris Bell was the only candidate in the race that had any experience with flooding, and I'll, I'll, I'll correct that. Uh, in 2011, I was uh, appointed by President Barack Obama to the Board of the United States Agency for International Development. And in that role, I played a, a leadership role in the, uh, within the agency, and I responded to floods and earthquakes and other natural man-made disasters around the world. So it's, it is a very complicated uh, issue, but I have responded in time to uh, my country when, when needed. So I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm a business leader. Uh, I believe in economic development. I believe that uh, we need to have real economic development here in the... Oh, is it, you're not hearing me? Can I start over? <laughs> I believe that we need real economic development here in the city of Houston. Uh, the city of Houston does not currently take an active role in uh, recruiting businesses from around the world to relocate here to increase revenue to the city. Problems that we have with potholes and pensions, uh, it, it comes back to the city not having enough resources to pay for these. Whether they be good or bad deals, the city just doesn't have the funds. We have hundreds of millions of dollars in uh, budget deficit every year. We have billions of dollars in unfunded man, uh, liabilities for the city of Houston. So what do we do? When, you're, when you have a problem in uh, Texas, you have a problem with the uh, uh, getting out of a hole, you just stop digging first. That's the first step. We need to get control of our financial situation. We need to balance the budget. We need to look at what's important to us. Uh, the next mayor will have many, many challenges, and one of those is the infrastructure. We don't really know what the outcome will be from the Supreme Court's ruling on last Friday for Rebuild Houston. We don't know, but we're looking at that and studying how we're going to deal with that. It's just another challenge that the next year will have to deal with. So we have to worry about the budget. We've got to worry about infrastructure. We've got to worry about our policing and uh, many, many issues that, that face the city. We've got a lot of challenges ahead, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. The sky is not falling. All of these things can be solved with good management, good leadership, and a vision for the city of Houston. We need to have a whole of government approach that we currently do not have. Uh, and we need to, to look to the future. It's not just about the next six months or the next six years. It's about the next 60 years. We need to invest in Houston. So with that, I'll take some questions. I'm, did I get more time now? Questions? Yes, ma'am. The arts? The arts? I uh, certainly support um, uh, uh, no caps on arts in the city of Houston. I want to take it to the uh, maximum allowed by law, which is over 19%. So I, I think that uh, the city should uh, embrace that and make that policy. So it's more about the arts. This is something that I can sell as mayor. Uh, we've got to be able to attract businesses around the world and people, talent from around the world. And the arts is one of the ways that we do that. So it's very important. To yes. Yes, ma'am. I've heard. I know you come and read your report. What exactly would you do? Well, the question that she asked was uh, potholes, and it's a big issue, and I, I certainly know that. We, we all know that uh, the, the city's infrastructure is crumbling, and the life expectancy of, of any road is really between 30 to 40 years, and we're about 85% of that is past its life. So we have to invest. And one of the ways that we that the, we have to get the resources to do that is to get our money from the federal government. The city does get some money from the federal government, but it's not enough. My, my friend Chris Bell just mentioned that. I agree with that. What's happened before, I don't know, but we gotta go after and get more money. We've got, it belongs to us. So every grant that's available to us We'll, uh, we're going to go after from the 
from the state, from the federal government, and that's why we need a real Office of Economic Development in the city of Houston that is led and reports directly to the mayor. This is the lifeblood of the city. We cannot farm this out. We cannot wait any longer. We must invest in us. Thank you. Do I have time for another question? Yes, sir. So the same question about unions. How would you relate to the unions that are in the city, both at the police and fire, and also with hope, the, the, the city workers, in terms of their pensions and supporting their right to, uh, uh, to have dues deduction from their paychecks? Well, I support the right to have deductions from their paychecks. The first part about how it relates, the, the I, I didn't get the first part, sir. Well, I was just, just giving the background about where I was going to go with that. Which okay. Is what All right. relationship well, I mean, would I, be with those? As far as the pensions are, go, I mean, a deal's a deal. Um, I, you know, we need to meet our obligations. I think the, the best way to, to handle that is to bond our way out of it uh, and to negotiate in the future. I don't want to negotiate in the past. A deal is a deal. And we need to meet those obligations. Thank you. Do I still have any more time? I got a, I got a few seconds left. Any more questions? <laughs> ben Hall has a question. Oh, okay, well thank you. I appreciate uh, being out here today.